How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review, and it is a barrel-aged, aged barrel-aged barley wine time in a form of Amnesia Brewing's 10th anniversary barley wine. No idea. Never had anything from Amnesia, never heard of them. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a Bonkers Beer Mail from Oregon, from David. He sent this off with a bunch of other beers. Thank you very much for sending this off, and I'm super excited to give this a whirl. It's a barley wine. It's barrel aged. It's already old. What's not to like? Let's dive right in. As far as what it says on the bottle, 10th anniversary barley wine ale, 2014, uh, in Indonesia Brewing. Ale Asian Red Zin. So I assume it's Red Zinfandel bourbon barrels. So uh, uh, Red Zinfandel and bourbon barrels. So that doesn't suck. Very um, uh, Deschutes-ish, I guess you would say, as far as vibe. Sometimes they can they like to go that way with their barrels and be that this is Oregon. Maybe they kind of brewed with them and figured shit out. Anyway, 10.2% alcohol by volume. Age one year in oak barrels from Big Bottom Distillery out of Hillsboro, Oregon. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a Red Zin bourbon barrel. I don't know. Uh, and Amnesia Brewing, you only use the finest Maris Honor floor mar malted barley imported from Belgium, Germany, and England. So, raise a glass and celebrate with us. Here's to amazing 10 years. We couldn't have done this without you and our patrons and friends. Prost. Um, that's pretty much it. Wash, Washagool? Washagla? Washagal? Washington? No idea uh, how to say that. And that's pretty much it. Label wise is cool. I dig it. Uh, it doesn't say English or American. Barley wine in a bottle, but it's in a barrel. They're all about Maris Otter. I'm guessing this is going to be an English barley wine. But at the time it's spent in a barrel, in the age on the beer itself at this time... It's going to skew more English, most likely, anyway. So, yeah, label-wise, dig it. Absolutely love it. Nice little wax top on there. So let's uh, crack this fucker open and uh, see what amnesia has to offer. I giggle when I hear amnesia. When I was young, when I was very young, back in the day, back in the day when I was younger, um, I was a uh, DJ for many years, a underground techno DJ, believe it or not. And... Um, I mean, I played a lot of parties um, up and down the East Coast. And, you know, pretty pretty active, let's put it that way. And one of the local clubs that we used to play at all the time, that was like our home base. Shouldn't call it that because we actually had a club called Home Base that we all ran at one port, point or another, was uh, called Amnesia. So anytime you hear the word Amnesia, I don't know, I have fond, fond memories, a la a lot of them are acid flashbacks. They are memories nonetheless. So, yes. That was a very cooperative wax. I like that. So let's see. I'm going to give this an aggressive pour. Because just by looking at it. Ooh. Ooh, I can smell it from here, babes. I can smell it from here. I think we're going to get a lot of raisin in this motherfucker. And that's my jam when it comes to barrel aged barley wines. Or aged barley wines in general. Uh, rocky, quarter pinky finger, um, khaki colored head that was there. It's pretty much dissipated at this point in time. Um, yeah, pretty much gone. Um, nice. It's not su It's not perfectly clear. There's a subtle haze to it. The color that it does have is a mahogany kind of diluted with orange and yet yeah, and and yellow honeyish kind of color. But it's still pretty damn dark. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of carbonation. There's really not much carbonation to speak of. Legs are not for days, for weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean, she looks like, uh, just by looking at it, she looks like an old ale. Okay, that's the vibe I'm getting from her. So let's give her a nose. The barrel's perfect. It's the barrel I like. It's that soft rubbed milk chocolate, charry, smoky barrel. It's not superly aggressive, not overly charred, but the char is there. Um, you're getting your vanilla, your coconut, but you're getting that milk chocolate on the char thing that just really gets my fucking nipples all hard and stuff. But I'm getting... I'm getting... I'm getting more old ale in this. I'm not getting barley wine. I mean, sometimes that's splitting hairs, but for me, there's a distinctness, and I'm getting more... I'm getting a lot of uh, hearty vibes off this, is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm getting uh, that that toffee, caramel, raisin nettiness, that chocolate-covered raisin, uh, that maybe not even just chocolate-covered raisin, but you had a box of raisinettes 
that you let you sit on your dash of your car for a little bit too fucking long to where everything got a little bit heated and not necessarily melted, but kind of just not fermenting the raisin, but kind of made the raisin open up and kind of become more than just that kind of cold, hard raisin, gave it some kind of life, gave it some kind of body with that heat. And that's what I'm getting. So I'm getting bourbon barrel. I'm getting a little non-carbonation, which kind of sucks. But when you're dealing with a barrel-aged beer that is already aged, par for the fucking course sometimes. And I'm getting a lot of old ale vibes. The old ale vibes that I really covet. So I'm just going to skip right to the point and dive right in. Cheers. Yeah. This is... Wow, it's like, whew, this is fucking delicious, is what this fucking is. Um, this is a fucking old stock. This is an aged old stock. This is an aged hardy. This is an aged, I wouldn't go JW Lee's, because it's not as robust and as an earthy as that, but this is hardy and fucking old stock, man. But there's barrel involved. But the genius thing about it is the barrel's not over the top. Um, you're getting some sweet um, spirit notes in there. It's almost like I'm getting like more of like a brandy kind of cognac -y vibe off of it. It says bourbon, red zin. Again, maybe there's the wine barrel and bourbon involved. And that's kind of why I'm getting those kind of like different kind of richer notes out of it. As opposed to just your generic vanilla and coconut. But um, yeah, this is fucking cash money. This is one of the better beers I've had. Barrel aged beers I've had. In quite a while. Let's put it that way. Mm. Yeah. It's very, um, how do I put it? It's 10, what is it, 10.2? 10 10.2% 10 alcohol by volume. So there's, it's alcoholic. It's higher in booziness than your typical beer. But it, it while it doesn't drink that way, you still know it's like that. But... You're getting a lot of super rich flavors out of here, but at the same time, it's very gentle with you. It's very rounded. There's not a lot of jarring going on. Sure, a year or so, because it's 2016, this is 2014, but this is March 2016. This is, you know, end of 2014, more close to a year than two years, regardless. I'm sure that has rounded out some points, but I think this kind of went into the bottle a bit more rounder than you'd typically expect. Um, and it's just really nice, man. It's 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 kind of towing that line that a lot of old ales, barrel-aged old ales, or super beers kind of do, with whether it's not Utopias level crazy, but where Utopias kind of jumps the shark of beer and becomes more of a cordial, or more of a sherry, or more of a cognac. It's kind of vibe in that way. Especially with the lower carbonation. And that does not suck. And there's a difference between low carbonation and no carbonation. I've had a couple beers that are pretty much dead carbonation wise. And uh, while this isn't, you know, effervescent, uh, there's still enough carbonation to let you know it's a beer and a not non oxidized, non flat beer. Yeah. Sweet. Liquor notes that are kind of a melange of sherry, cognac, and bourbon. You're getting this really nice toffee caramel raisinettiness from the beer itself. It's a bit thin for the style, but with its age and its barreling, I'm willing to overlook that. I'm getting this soft, soft, super soft oakiness from it too. This like drying, kind of like drying oakiness on the back end. That and they're absolutely the most positive tannins in the history of mankind. This is a great beer. This is an absolute great beer. There's barrel aged beers that are that are uh, fucking heavyweight champions that are, are, are uh, fucking just gonna knock you out in three or four punches. This is this is sweetness. This is fucking Sugar Ray Leonard. This is not gonna you can knock you out. I mean, with the ABV and what's going on, I can knock you out. But it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take some time with you. It's not gonna. It's not gonna punch you and punch you and punch you. It's gonna. It's gonna serenade you. It's gonna lull you into its fucking web and uh, treat you motherfucking right. Cause, yeah. Cheers, Amnesia.
You guys did not fuck around with this beer. So yeah, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better barrel aged barley wines I've had as a late? Absolutely. I go Old Ale. They want to say barley wine. Who gives a fuck? It's good is what it is. Um, the barley on it is superb. It's fucking multi-level. It's not just char. It's not just vanilla. It's just not this. It's just not that. There's just so much going on in there. Like I said, it's, it tastes like multiple different kind of spirits going on. And it, it, but you still get the barrel itself without the actual spirits. And the beer itself tastes already aged and has that coveted raisin eddiness I want going on. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, I want to buy it again. Uh, yeah, I would buy it again if I could get it because it's that fucking good. Uh, how much did it cost and can you get it? I have no fucking idea. Hopefully, you know, David chimes in or somebody chimes in because if this is $10 a bottle, give or take, then I would buy this by the fucking pallet. Um, and just say, if you like what, well, you like this. Everything I just said. If you like aged old stocks in Thomas Hardy's, if you like, um... Uh, newer barrel age series uh, old stocks, your brandies and your uh, brandies bourbons in, I haven't had to rye yet, but who the fuck knows, probably close to that too. If you like old ales, old aged old ales, if you like barrel aged old ales, if you like the raisin ananas that I like, that I covet, if you're into um, kind of multiple barrel spiriting, uh, even though this is might not be that that's the vibe i'm getting off of it and if you like um if you like to be um aggressively serenaded to sleep i'm not saying it's the gentlest beer in the world but it's not punching you in the face it's it's just giving you that uh the sweet science we talked about boxing this is the sweet science of beers so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed the review as much as i fucking did uh if you didn't or did, or whatever, down there. Say shit and like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to check me out anywhere else, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped. Go over there and see all the other shit I do. And other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beer as good as this one. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.